Morning. Another day, another real old test. Today, we're doing it on the Nokia, wait for it, 8V 5G UW. And I personally am a little excited about this device because I, like I believe a lot of you, um, kind of want to see Nokia do like flagship devices again. And while this isn't quite in that level that I think we're all hoping for, it is the closest thing they have to a flagship. So very curious to see how the camera and the battery do in today's real world test. Before we get to any of that, first things first, coffee. Jack. And today's video takes place about two and a half hour drive north of New York City in a town called Hudson, located in the Hudson Valley on the Hudson River. But the reason that we're here is because a couple of friends of mine who you might have seen in this series before, Olivia and Jean, actually came up here not too long ago and they were telling me all about it and how much they think I personally would really like it. Olivia herself even wrote an entire like blog post on her blog that I'll link below you guys can check out about all of the things to do here because they just were that impressed. So I figured it's one of the few last days of nice weather apparently that we're gonna have this year. So rented a car and figured we'd check it out. This is kind of the main drag in Hudson. It's called Warren Street. And it's kind of interesting. There was a group of antique dealers back in like the mid 80s that when this town was kind of going through the same thing that every town around here was going through where the industries were dying and they're having a bit of an economic crisis. Those antique dealers all kind of set up shop here on Warren Street. And that actually kind of set the tone for the revival of this town. And now it's tons of antique stores. There's art dealers, there's restaurants, bars, um, and it's kind of become like a little artsy town all because of that. Unfortunately for me though, um, a lot of those places aren't, they're not open. Uh, and that's because I made the mistake of being like, oh, I'll come up here on a weekday, hotels will be cheaper, it'll be, you know, a good deal. But I forgot that we are well past season and a lot of these towns up here in the Hudson Valley, they, all their restaurants and bars and everything close basically for the weekdays. And they're only open like Thursday to Sunday. before those antique dealers. Henry Hudson in the early 17th century was one of the first explorers on behalf of the Dutch East India Trading Company to kind of come up this river, which then became known as the Hudson River. And Hudson, this town, is actually named for the river and so also named for Henry Hudson. And of course, because way back then there wasn't a lot of exploration to the west of here, um, this was a major port, just like most of the cities that you've probably seen me visit here on the Hudson River. It even, fun fact, lost by one vote to become New York State's capital to Albany, which is the current capital, which is just a little bit up the river. Now fast forward, like a lot of the towns here on this river eventually had an economic downturn when a lot of those industries left or moved on to other places. And then it wasn't until around the 80s, like I mentioned, that we started to see a resurgence. And now it kind of has this Renaissance vibe to it. Um, that it, it is, it's a very, very cute town. All right, and while we're here, since we haven't done it yet today, let's check into the battery. It is 4.17 p.m. and I shot a lot of video on here, but we are at 44%.
Okay, I got lucky. I found a place that's open. <laughs> Not only is it open though, it has outdoor dining, which I'm excited about. Um, and I, I kind of like the vibe. Okay, while we're here, let's check in on the battery. It is 6.15 p.m. and we are at 36%. Um, now, I just had a, well, I'm having a beer here um, that the server recommended. It was like kind of funky, she said. It's really good. Um, but I also just had a like French onion soup because it's early for dinner, obviously, but I was starving because I haven't really eaten today. Um, but I'm just gonna have that because I wanna push my luck and see if I can find another place for us to check out after this. Wish me luck. Okay, so I got some inside info from the uh, lovely server that was at the restaurant. Apparently there are a total of two places that are open tonight. So we're gonna uh, try to check one of those out right now and, and get dinner. All right, top secret information. Uh, I found out that the artisanal cheese whiz is made from pieces or leftovers, I guess, of the cheese, like the fancy cheese that they have for their cheese board when they cut it before they serve it. They take all of the extras and they mix it with like a roux of some sort and then kind of make that together and that makes the artisanal cheese whiz. It was delicious. I'm not gonna question it. Okay, calling it a night. Partially because, well, everything is closed. Um, but then also, it is 10 p.m. and we are at 5%, so just made it. And here's my screen on time and my usage for anyone who's curious about that. And honestly, I think that's pretty good. <laughs> I took it off the battery at 8 a.m. this morning. It lasted me till 10 p.m., um, but I used a lot of 4K footage on this thing. I mean, you can actually see in the graph here, I'll put it up on the screen again, where I started filming a lot. But there you go. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below of the phone, of the video format itself. Again, very vlog-like, but let me know what you guys think. Now, I didn't mention the device very much because if we're honest, this is just a Verizon locked version of the Nokia 8.3, which has been out 
for a long time now at this point. So I figured you guys probably have seen all the videos on that. So um, the only difference actually here is we've got two gigs less of RAM and we have 64 gigs of storage instead of 128. And it has millimeter wave for Verizon and sub six as opposed to just sub six. That's it. But let me know you guys think about that. Is it okay if I don't mention a lot about the phone and we kind of just test the camera and the battery and go throughout the day? We'd love to know what you guys think. Thumbs up though, the video, if you liked it. Also check out the rest of the channel if you like to see there. Please subscribe and ding the bell next to your subscribe so you can notify when I do new videos. As always though, regardless, thanks for watching.